Hi, I'm Dr. Toya, board certified OBGYN, and what this mom is talking about is a uterine didelphus. Actually, she has a didelphus and a bicolis, and I'm going to tell you what that means. So I'm going to make myself small here. So she has what we call a Mullerian anomaly. That just means when the uterus um, and vagina were forming, it, it didn't form properly. So it's actually two sides that fuse to form one structure, that's the uterus and part of the vagina. And you can see here, if it doesn't fuse properly, you end up with two different uteruses and two cervices. And sometimes you can also have a septum in the vagina and different um, anomalies associated with this. So she may have other things that she didn't mention, but this is how that happens. So like she said, she has two horns, only one period because the period is controlled by your hormones and that's your ovaries. Those actually develop separately and have nothing to do with how your uterus and um, part of your vagina form. So you're only going to bleed once. You can get pregnant in one horn. The only way you can get pregnant in the other horn at the same time is if you have an ovulation cycle where you ovulate from both ovaries and both of them happen to get fertilized and they both implant in each horn. Otherwise, most likely you're just going to get pregnant in one. And once that's the case, you are pregnant. You can then get pregnant while you're pregnant because, again, you're not going to ovulate. It's completely separate um, hormones and stuff that control the ovulation. So, you know, um, that's not really going to happen. It's very interesting. And there are lots of different variations of these anomalies. And um, this is one of the more rare ones. So let me know if you have any other questions about mullerian anomalies in the comments. And of course, like and follow for more.